Viewers and subscribers to another tutorial. Now, for today's lesson, we're looking at chase table. Now, why is a chase table one may ask? The chase table is used to test algorithm to see if it's correct or to see if the values that you've entered in the algorithm is correct, right? So, let's look at this question. So the question says, you use the algorithm above, right, to complete the chase table. So, we're going to use 4 as the input value for x, or this x right here, right? Let's analyze this algorithm. So, it's a real x which would be 4, right? For m, p equals 1 to x, which would be 1 to 4, y go equal to x minus m, and z equal to 5 multiplied by y minus m. Alright. So let us go to the chase table. So the first thing we're going to put in the chase table is the value for x. So we said the value for x is 4, right? So that here 4 means we're going to write 4 here, 4 here, 4 here, and 4 here. Now so why do we have 4? 4 times. That's because we're using a for loop for this question. And the for loop, we're going to start values and the end value. So start values and end value. So 1, 2, 4. Now for the end section of the chase table, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So remember, start value, end value. And remember why we have the 4 over here? Because that's the input value, right? So let's calculate the one final value for x, for, sorry, for y and z. Now the formula for y says y equals to x minus m. So let's do it. So we're going to have y equals to x minus m. Now the correct value for y, sorry, the correct value for x is 4, right? So we're going to have 4 minus what? 1, which is the correct value for m. That's going to equal to 3. So write 3 here. Multiplying z. So we're going to have z equal to 5 multiplied by y minus m. So we're going to have 5 multiplied by y, which is 3, minus m, which is 1. So 5 times 3 will equal to 15, minus the 1, that will equal to 14. So we'll have 14 here. Alright, let's go for the second part of the JST table. So again, y equal x minus m. So we're gonna have x is still 4, right? Minus m, which is now 2. So that's gonna equal to what? 2. Alright. And the value for y. The value for z. What if I say 5 multiplied by y minus n? So that's 5 multiplied by 2 minus 2. So 5 times 2 is 10 minus 2, that would be equal to 8, right? So 8 divided by 0. So check the description for the complete solution for the GSP.